All right, okay, so uh, three lights set up. I ain't got time for all that. Three lights set up, let's get it. All right, so three lights set up, but um, a little bit too much darkness underneath the chin because we're using the black backdrop. So I think I'm gonna use some white cardboard just to get a little reflection off of that, bounce the light. Actually, low key, I need to get that back before I break it. When I shoot in the studio, I try to keep a standard of what settings I'm going to be using in my camera every single time. So when I'm shooting in the studio, I know what look I'm going for and what my camera settings are going to be. And for me personally, I like to have most everything in focus and then I can manipulate the background as I want to in the future. I try to keep everything focused around being at F11 and adjust everything else accordingly. When you have photo shoots where the person isn't doing much movement, it's not sports or something where there has to be action, you can actually have a slower shutter speed and with having a slower shutter speed that allows more light to come into the camera that way you can get a clearer shot and use less light also when i'm shooting i have a iso of 100 to 200 depending on how i'm feeling that day in all honesty i usually try to keep it around 100 but fingers slip went to 200 a couple of times and i actually kind of liked it so i kept it there Hey, sue me. Sometimes things just work. But you got to keep in mind, keep those settings consistent whenever you're in the studio. It's a very good idea to know what you're going to be shooting with whenever you're going to shoot in the studio and you have your three lights set up. With me, I'm shooting with the Tamron 28 to 75 for most pictures, but then when I want to get headshots, I go to the Sony 85mm 1.8. I don't even use it at 1.8, but I just like the way that it looks for headshots and it, I use typically the same settings that I would use with the 28 to 75, which is F11, ISO of 100 to 200, and then a slow shutter speed, because in the studio, I'm not having too much action. Alright, so when I switched over lenses to the prime lens, the F11 did not seem to be the same as the F11 on my 2.8 lens, and this is like an F1.8. So the F11 was doing something weird, it was really flaring, it was too bright. So I had to do some modifications. Long story short, these two side lights, we don't even need them. We're just using the main key light, and we're using these reflectors right here. Uh, get you some cardboard, man, because that other stuff costs too much. Them V-flats or whatever, super expensive. Don't need to get those, man. A big part of being a photographer is learning how to piece stuff together. Trust me, I got so much stuff that wasn't supposed to be used for what I use it for. Um, oh, it's nice to have great talent. Me and her worked together a whole lot. And my <laughs> Yeah, you was in the shot. What was you doing? <laughs> Whatever she was doing, disregard that. But me and her worked with each other a lot. So some of these shots you see me take, she has good confidence in me most of the time. And there's a lot of shots <clears throat> that I don't have to take. So know the person that you're working with. If it's somebody that doesn't model or doesn't know poses that well, you're going to have to go over everything with them constantly. 
I'm lucky enough to be dealing with somebody today that actually models quite a bit and deals with models quite a bit, so she actually knows what she's doing. Time's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy teasing all day, and when the sun sets, you asking me to come through, kick it with. Now on this video, it originally started out as a way for me to show you guys my three light setup, but it turned into something different. I got to a certain point where the three light setup wasn't giving me the results that I wanted. The light was starting to come off too harsh when I switched out lenses for the portraits. So what I actually did was I used light modifiers. I had two white boards that I used to bounce light and I used the one big light as a key light and I use that to bounce the light. It's more soft. It's things like that that come in handy. And honestly, I know a lot of people use V-flats. V-flats are expensive for me. So I'll just take two, three, maybe even four pieces of board, white or black, that I get from the dollar store and just tape them together and use them to reflect. So what started out as a three light setup actually turned into one light, two white boards. But leave a suggestion in the comment of what you would like to see next from me and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace love you guys <laughs>